Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Folktale Tutorial Let's Play series. <clears throat> Excuse me. This episode will be on confronting Kenny. And so we're going to head up here now. Uh, let's let Your the hero. Wish. And we shall loot along the way. You Ooh. called! Time to die! Yeah, right. Oh. So, that's what you don't want to do. There's a trap in the floor. Need to walk the other way around. So, let's get them back. There you go. Select them both. At the ready! And walk them the correct way around. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. But never mind. As you command. Poor heroes being controlled by me, eh? Right, so in here, I believe, we will find Kenny. Attack! Oh, maybe a few bandits first. Okay, so I'm going to select Sir Gregory, use his skills. Let's give him this skin. Tis an honour. And then bring him into the foray. loot up and get their health back actually I should have used some quick skills didn't even think of that spinning daggers hurls throwing daggers dealing 30 physical damage to all enemies within 20 units I definitely should have used that evacerate Wildly slash at a foe dealing 200% weapon damage. I definitely should have used that. Vanish. Well, that's handy if he's got to get away. Hamstring. That's to snare them so they can walk slower. That's definitely a good one. And backstab. Well, that's a classic thief skill. Anyway, let's continue on. Arm yourselves! Right, they're back to full health. As you wish. Not very nearly. Oh, what's that? A uh, bit of armour. Forward! Ten physical damage. Let's check his sword. Oh no, he's got that already. Okay. With honor. Carry on. Standing firm. Oh, I think we got a bit more trouble. <clears throat> oh, we gained a level, I think. Yeah. So, let's do his level. Being a thief, agility has got to be his primary attribute. There we go. Okay, so one point in that. At once! No, this looks. Oh no, there's a trap. So there's a trap, and it's tempting us with a chest. 
and some other goodies. So let's send Sir Gregory. No, I, actually, he's just going to probably die. What would you have me do? I'd have you go this way instead. Double time! Oh. So Gregory did get take a bit of damage. I'm gonna have to start working on his health, I think. For honor and glory. Why on earth he says that attacking a chest, I do not know. Let's go back, and I believe it's in here we've got to go next. Oh, here we go. Right, time to confront Kenny. Onward! before you killed him and burned down our farm. What? No, that was an accident. Never supposed to. <coughs> I have waited years for this moment, Kenny. Feel free to start screaming any time. No, please, you don't understand. <coughs> Enough talking. Your pitiful life is over and your soul will soon be another worker for the factory. Welcome to your eternity. No! She killed Kenny. That's actually quite convenient. Well, hello there. I'm both worried and intrigued by the efficient manner in which you dispatched our quarry. Can I interest you in a pint of the tavern? No, you cannot. A walk down by the river. No. Uh, perhaps a simple... If you make one more suggestion, I will rip out your tongue and feed it to you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You certainly have quite the imagination. Perhaps another time, then. Oh, which isn't a suggestion so much as a statement. Yes, I am stating perhaps another time. While I don't appreciate your friend's advances, I do appreciate that you didn't intervene while I dealt with a personal matter. We could use someone with your level of discretion. Talk to Mordrick at the factory if you're interested in making some money. Well, it seems that Kenny buggered himself, saving me the job. I wonder what kind of job that intriguing woman is offering. Perhaps we should investigate, if only so she has the pleasure of seeing me again. I feel like we really hit it off there. And there we go. That's what happened to poor Kenny. Okay, so we got a new objective. Locate the sandal factory and speak to Mordridge. Um, but first, let's loot this chest. Uh, another potion. And some armor. <clears throat> Maybe someone will be able to actually use it. And let's just check. Oh, yeah. They shall not pass! Okay, 
that's everything from that side of the room. Just this. Who left. wants some? And another one there. And that looks like it. Oh, <clears throat> we can loot Kenny himself. Okay, so that's this done. Let's now exit the dungeon. By your leave. And see what we gotta do next. Oh, is that another to thing? Victory. Okay, so let's just have got a map in here. No, let's head back this way. Quick march! Oh, go on in, let's give the chest a go. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, alright, well. Today Oops. you die! Sorry, quick. Horribly! Orders right, received! Get him out of here. Come on, quick, before you get chopped up. All spiked. Mine is oh, to yeah. obey. This is the way back because we know the other trap. Let's Ready to serve. Walk them both. There we go, safely around that trap. Now we've got to go to the left and get out of here. Orders received. And travel to Shirebrook. Okay, let's now head back to our settlement. Double time! Now, of course, we don't have to worry about bandits attacking us up there. Greetings, village people. I represent the esteemed leader of the Glade Folk, Queen Nara. Our spies have informed us that our despicable neighbors have contacted you about working with them. The withering dead are a pox on the land and should be treated as such. We strongly advise you to ignore their request. You are cautiously invited to speak with Her Majesty in the Tangled Court to discuss possible cooperation. It is quite the honor to be called to the court. I would not keep her waiting. Okay, so what we have here is a choice of two different factions. Either the evil sandal factory, or the uh, which is Mordrich, or we can go with the glade folk. So I think that's who we'll choose. As you wish. But let's get back to our settlement and see how that's doing. So we've got enough. We're getting the carrots. We're getting the fish. We're getting the meat pies, we got bread, we got clothing, mead is still holding its own. So maybe we want to try and boost now the carrots the enemy is in our village. and the fish. Let's click on the barracks. Oh, I've got a full complement. Train up. Oh, there's the timer. Let's just train up some more spearmen if I can. No, I'm at my limit. So I'm going to have to think about perhaps upgrading the 
barracks. I think I can do one more upgrade to it. Our town is yeah. under attack. I can do one more upgrade, which I have got enough for. So let's do it. There we go, fully upgraded. Now, if I build another cottage, I can put four more soldiers in there. The more, the merrier. But before I go building Our is under attack. more cottages and such like, I really need to make sure Our village has attracted new settlers. the food is coping. So let's bring up the windmill. Mm. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Let's put two more carrot fields down, I think. That should hopefully be enough. New villagers have arrived. Can I get another carrot field? Well, I don't think I can. Oh well, one will have to do. New settlers have arrived. No, that's all I can get in the boundary for the mill. Well, that'll still hopefully boost up the carrots enough. So, okay, next then, let's see if we can either upgrade the fishing hut or build another one. Yep, that can definitely be upgraded. A building has been constructed. Right, so let's build another cottage to get more fishermen. Marauders are ransacking our village. Space is getting a bit tight. Oh, there we go. New villagers have arrived. Hopefully then we'll get our fish once I put some workers in there up to a thousand and hopefully the extra carrot field will then get that to a thousand and then we will see the apple the meat pies and they're where we want them at a thousand. So in the next episode we will look if I've managed to do this. New settlers have arrived. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.